All right, coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Juicy A. Formiga and Brandon Moran. Ready? You ready to fight? All right, folks, here we go with round one. This is not the Eddie Bravo Invitational. This is the UFC. And two of the more decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts we have in this or any division. Yes, in any division. We've never seen guys that can really incorporate the Jiu-Jitsu into fighting as we've seen this two do. But who's going to make a mistake? Who's going to leave an arm out there to get grabbed? Who's going to leave their neck out? Let's see if we put two great Jiu-Jitsu players together who can get their hand raised in the octagon. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Formiga's got the tie clinch now. Right hand punches the clinch. Moreno's head kick and tap. That one is blocked. Great punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Three minutes now he's remain in the round. From here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high punch. Oh, oh he takes it from a high. What a fantastic takedown. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you just one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Formiga. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Able to land the single ground strike there. Points out for the end of round one. While right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Big ball from Crunch Land. Now we get back to range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Formiga's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, connects with another uppercut. I'm surprised his opponent's head stayed on his body after he that. He won't be able to take many more of right. He's been taking them over and over again, and it's a testament to his chin. But Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. Nice takedown, man. 
Formiga gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. 48 total strikes have now landed for the Brazilian Juicier Formiga. And striking with 48% accuracy tonight thus far against him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. All collar tie, and they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Quick level change now. He went single into a high class. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end, end of that? Not <laughs> I knew that was I've coming. Never... <laughs> Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Just misses there with the left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Kick to the body by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. That left hook landed on the button. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. It's a nice injury record. Working inside the closed guard now. Ten minutes in the books. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, here we go. Third and final round. Moreno's forward shot does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice. Nice leg kick there by Brandon Moreno. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? A little single collar tie there. Slips the punch nicely there. Got the single collar tie. Muay Thai plump. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Nice hammer fist. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag armbar here. And he's out. 90 seconds and counting remain in the fight. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Moreno. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he might be out. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, 
he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Moreno. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Jussier Formiga! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did it.